heading back to the trail from the priest shelter. Stayed in the shelter there last night. Started to drip rain, but then quit. Only a few drips, no rain. Supposed to get rain today though and tomorrow. The priest shelter is kind of interesting because people confess there in the trail log. <laughs> Most of the confessions were, you know, I peed on a caterpillar. I don't always dig six inch cat holes to go to the bathroom in, uh, things like that. I judge people I walk by on the trail. <laughs> and a lot of them that I can't actually say <laughs> because there's some bad ones too. I didn't do one. My confession would be I'm Protestant. <laughs> Let's see, are we back on the AT yet? Yes, we are. Here we go. But there were some funny ones in there. And most people did not sign their names to them. <laughs> a few people did. Got about a half a mile up um, from the shelter. And then we've got about three or 4,000 down. <laughs> I think 3,000 down. And then about 3,000 up today. So it's gonna be a, a pretty hard day. Um, I'm trying to do about 16 miles, I think. Oh, Heisenberg did catch up with us last night. He got in about 8 o'clock, <laughs> exhausted. But his leg's still bothering him, probably especially after doing all the miles he did yesterday, trying to catch up and the day before. So... He's gonna rest his leg again and take a couple zeros at the priest. Shelter, so he's staying there. Trinity's behind me. They'll catch up with me later at some point. So we found the view. Lots of people are tent camping up here. Oh wow, this is gonna be nice, I think. Wow, that was quite a view. These rocks make kind of slow progress. Climbing over them. Stepping over them, and then if you step on them, your feet go sideways, or they roll or move if they're small. It's another beautiful morning. It's not raining yet, but you can see the clouds are coming in. Pretty through here. We have started the down and it looks like a lot of rocks and stuff so I'm glad I am getting this out of the way before it starts raining today. <laughs> Here's a little view through the trees from the trail. Just beautiful. Here's something in the bushes. It's a bird. She's kicking around. 
around in there looking for bugs. Woodpecker. View. Wow, it's amazing. I am about two and a half miles down the hill. <laughs> I just stopped to take off my coat. Yep, it's almost June and I'm wearing a coat. It was in the 40s today. Uh, I think somebody said it was supposed to drop down to 37 up on the mountain. Of course, it's a little warmer down here. I'm about halfway down the mountain. I've been going down for about almost two hours now, I think. And it's probably in the 50s, maybe 60 now down here. And with the exertion, I'm staying warm. But I still have on a long sleeve shirt and long pants. <laughs> Almost June. This, I was really hoping that I would have a cooler year because I do not handle the heat really well. The older I get, the less heat tolerant I am. It didn't ever used to bother me. So I was kind of worried about, you know, climbing mountains with a big old pack on my back in 100 degree weather and I'm sure I'll probably still have a day or two like that but I'm hoping it won't be many and we're getting through Virginia without getting very many hot days so it just seems like it's unseasonably cold right now or chilly which is really nice for hiking and 50s and 60s is about perfect <laughs> and that's what we've been having all week Here's the trail over the stream. Pretty easy. <laughs> Across the river, now we're heading uphill. That's the big climb. We came 3,000 feet down. Now we're going 3,000 feet up to another 4,000 foot mountain. And that's pretty much what we're doing today. <laughs> I'm sure I'll have to take a few breaks. I've got two and a half miles up to a shelter, which is, I don't even know if it's halfway up. <laughs> um, so I'll take a break there for sure. Probably eat lunch there. Three Ridges Wilderness. It's 
still heading uphill. So far it hasn't been terrible. It's just a hill. I mean mountain, but it's you know, kind of a gradual climb and it had they have had switchbacks, some switchbacks. I have done about a mile so far, I think. A little over a mile, I think. And I've got a mile. 1.4 miles to the shelter where I'm going to have lunch. Stopped for lunch at a shelter along the trail and heard from some guys there that the trail gets a little more difficult at this point and it has more boulders and rocks and stuff. So I got five more miles to go, but not all of it's up. I think I've got or six more miles, maybe three up, three down, or something like that. Lots of boulder climbing here, so I'll probably put my phone up for this. <laughs> That's the trail right there, straight ahead of me. This is the trail. See the white little blaze over there? It's tricky. Wow, that's amazing, isn't it? This is what I'm going up on wet rocks. Not fun. It's really steep. Looks like the steepest part is still dry though, so that's good. Okay, this is the cliff I have to climb. <laughs> you see up there, there's more. I think there's a little kind of steps in it though. That'll be alright. Storm on the top of the ridge, not where you want to be in a storm. And so I'm going to head down as fast as I can. The storm's still going up there, but I got off the ridge. And I'm on the side of the next mountain now. So it's much better right here. I am drenched. <laughs> Even with my rain clothes, I couldn't get my rain pants on quick enough when the storm hit. So my pants underneath got wet. Works better when I have my umbrella, but I can't use my umbrella in high winds, so that was out of the question. This is a hard mountain climb and the rain only makes it more hard. It's a big mountain and we're climbing over this most of the time. You have to go really slow on wet rocks because you don't know when your feet will slip. Flower tunnel, so pretty. Still climbing. 
to the top of the next mountain. It's three ridges. This is just a long, long day. And then I still have to come down and I hope it's not as slick and rocky as it was coming up. <laughs> but chances are <laughs> to get to the shelters, I still have over three miles. I've been going so slow, <laughs> like less than one mile an hour, it's four o'clock. So I hope I can make it faster to get to the shelter. And hopefully I can get into the shelter. But shelters get full really fast when it's storming and raining. So probably not getting there this late. I'll probably have to set up my tent. But it might quit raining by the time I get there. Today we were only supposed to have like a, I think a 30, 40% chance of rain or something like that. So obviously that forecast changed. <laughs> since it's been raining for hours now. Hard. So there's the ridge up there. Still blowing pretty hard. No thunder or lightning. Just some wind. And it's slowed down just a bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and go across the ridge and get down the other side as fast as I can. Okay, the trail has me just below the ridge. That's the ridge right there. So it's nice down here. Temporarily, I'm 2.5 miles away from the shelter still. And boy, am I tired. But it could be worse. Instead of 50 degrees and cold rain and blowing wind, it could be 90 degrees without a breeze. That would definitely be worse. Okay, there's a viewpoint there. I'm not gonna go take that and get out there in the wind because there's no view, it's foggy. We had views earlier. It's kind of pretty in the fog and the rain. It's not raining as hard as it was. I'm just hoping we kind of stay below the edge of this ridge. I'm hiking by myself up here. I've got some people right behind me that I know unless they've waited to come up because of the storm at the last shelter. It was still nice when I left the last shelter. No sign of rain or anything. But it hits fast on these mountains. I don't think the wind's quite as bad, especially right here where I'm at. Oh my goodness, I'm so happy. We are headed down. We are getting off this mountain. <laughs> Finally, so I have two and a half miles of down to get to the shelter now. Hopefully it won't be too bad. So far, so good. <laughs> the trail has been pretty good. I've had to come over a little rock bald. Right now I may have problems getting through some of these branches with my umbrella. The wind's gone down and I'm down in some rhododendrons so I can actually use my umbrella again. Try to maybe get some of my stuff dried out a little bit. The rain's back. Rocks are back. But so far not bad. It's just slow progress. I've got to be within a mile of the shelter now, I think. I will sleep good tonight, hopefully in the shelter, but if not, I can set up my tent and stay dry.
small Malpin Field Shelter. That's where we're going. Very happy to see that sign. I'm so tired. This has been such a hard day. Here is the shelter. I finally made it. 